in a nutshell, the Liquidity Alliance is an association of CSDs that have come together with the aim to operate one single platform for servicing collateral management. Uh, I think the advantages of that are very obvious because you can share experience, obviously, you can share cost and development um, efforts that you have around this platform. Um, but more than that, you can also look for exchanging best practices, developing potentially new standards. And then on top of that, in addition, you also come to the point where you think about solutions for joint customers because you're offering solutions to clients that use the service of more than just one of the CSDs and then you think about solutions for joint customers as well. So the traditional way to mobilize collateral cross-border is through means of CSD links. Um, these are well known, but they have a couple of problems. Um, these are proprietary links. Um, every CSD link looks different. Um, and if you really want to create a solution across multiple CSDs, you have to build the whole network of CSD links uh, to make it really work. Now with DLT, uh, and this is what we did with the um, Liquidity um, Alliance Ledger project, uh, we are actually having a technology that allows a lighter way to connect the CSDs to one another. The key advantage being that the securities will actually remain within the books of the uh, respective CSDs and they will be only technically recorded on the DLT. And this has the advantage that we have full transparency on all involved parties and therefore we don't need to go into the complexity of building CSD links. I think for DLT pilot uh, cases, it's not that easy to go into production because they typically face multiple challenges. First challenge they have is on the technology side because that's a new technology that's not well known by all the parties that should use the solution. So it requires integration effort on the, on the side of the participants. The second is actually regulation because in financial markets you want to make sure that you deliver solutions that stick to existing regulation. So there's an educational process required vis-a-vis -vis the, uh, the regulators. Um, I think these are the two main challenges uh, that you typically have. On top, obviously, you always have to fulfill a business case, so there needs to be a good value proposition or use case behind it um, and for this you need to have a network of peers that are convinced that this is a good business case. Integration, regulation and interoperability.